and we are rolling. Well, Kira, congratulations and um, welcome back to Toronto for the festival. Yes, thank you very much. And it's good to have you back. And how does it feel to be back for the Lovely festival? Lovely to be back. I actually got to go out for dinner last night, which I think is one of the first times that I've got outside a hotel in Toronto. So that was very exciting. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, A Dangerous Method, fantastic movie. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, you know, you've done some period sort of pieces before, which I'm a huge fan of. But what fascinated you about the people in this period? Um, well, I knew nothing about it. Um, you know, I, I first got sent the script. Obviously, I'd heard of Freud and Jung, but I'd never really read right. anything about them. You know, right. I, I vaguely went, oh, yes, ego and psychoanalysis, mm -hmm. but I, I really didn't know. Um, Sabina Spielrun, I'd never heard of. Right. Um, and I just got the script and thought, wow, this is absolutely fascinating. And, and, and the influence that they've had with, within our culture, within society, mm -hmm. and how it changed society is so huge. You know, it was such a revolution that time. I thought, God, that, it's, it's an amazing thing. So um, I wanted to learn about it. Well, the opening scene is uh, really impactful. Yes. And, uh, you know, you, your character is just seems like she's in pain. And it, was this an exhausting role for you? Um, certain parts yeah. of it, you know, the, the beginning definitely is kind of quite physical mm -hmm. um, in that, in a way. And yeah, it was. I mean, it was quite literally tiring mm -hmm. but it was you know also exhilarating it was sort of you know it, it, it's it's not the kind of character that that comes along every day and you know I was and, and particularly not with a filmmaker like David Cronenberg right. you know so I was just sort of so excited about playing her mm -hmm. um, that it was just great fun which seems very perverse given the nature <laughs> of the role but um, but it was great fun. well I can imagine you know you just kind of get that out there it's just yeah, kind of like you a know, I mean it was just it's a, it's a fascinating thing you know she was she was a hysteric so looking mm -hmm. into exactly what that was and why and trying to figure it out and you know I think very often when you play characters there are certain things that link you to that character right. you know they feel like they're a thread so you mm -hmm. sort of go okay well she's going through that I've never been through that but I can kind of understand that right with this one, we had absolute, I, I have nothing in common with her. <laughs> thankfully, so, though. Thankfully, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, so it really was sort of like starting from, mm -hmm. from scratch and building somebody up from the ground upwards, well, which was very exciting. Like, how do you prepare for that, then? Well, for this one, I, I, it, was, it was a lot of research, you know. I mean, I really did know absolutely nothing yeah. about it. And I was really fortunate that the, the script is, the screenplay is written by Christopher Hampton, mm -hmm. who wrote the adaptation that I did for Atonement. So I, I know him a bit. So I phoned up as soon as I, I sort of knew that I was going to right. play the role and went, OK, just help, please help. Right. I said, right, <laughs> come round, you know, I'll give you, we'll, we'll talk about it. So I went round to his office and, and he just, I thought that he was going to talk to me for, a, you know, a couple of mm -hmm. hours and I'd take notes and I'd get all the answers. And he just handed me a pile of books like that right. and just went, read those, it's all in there. Right. Sure. Okay. So I, I mean, which is actually exactly what happened. You yeah. know, I just read through those and and then and actually and went and spoke to a couple of psychoanalysts to get some ideas from there. And, and it was sort of, you know, like I don't know, joining the dots at a certain yeah. point and just it, trying to make sense of it in my head so that right. I could find a way of playing it, which and is very exciting. Fantastic. And you have a two great male co-stars yeah. in this. What was it like working with each of them, Vigo and and uh, wonderful. Yeah. It was just wonderful. I mean, I can't say enough good things about either of them. Mm -hmm. They're wonderful, wonderful people and so supremely talented. I mean, I think Vigo, from a work point of view, sort of approaches or approached that role in the similar way that I did, mm -hmm. which was a lot, a lot of research, you know. So we kind of both came to set with notes and with sort of mm -hmm. piles of books <laughs> and stuff like that, you know. And then Michael is sort of very different. He works from a rep repetitive, just on the text thing. So. I mean, but but it sort of it doesn't matter, you know. You you come you come at it from a completely different approach, and then right. you get on set, and it's about trying to kind of mold it together. And because they're so wonderful and so talented and so lovely, it was just really fun when we actually got there and went, okay, you're going there, and I can go there. You know, it was well, great. lucky for David Cronenberg that he had some had a great cast. And speaking of him yeah. as a director, yeah. you know, what was it like working with him? Wonderful. I mean, he's he's like a magician. I don't know how he does it. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, he works with a lot of the same crew so yes. you step onto a set like that as an actor and it's almost like you know you're going into a very slick machine and you just kind of try and sort of keep up with the it. The newbie. Really. Yeah <laughs> I mean yeah the newbie but they're so sort of calm and wonderfully supportive and creative mm -hmm. that it is one of those things where he's sort of he very, he makes you feel empowered so mm -hmm. he's he's just extraordinary. And you know did he you have some sex scenes in this and, mm. and working with David how did he sort of make you feel comfortable with well, that? It was like, one of the things I you know I, I I first heard that I was gonna that, that he was gonna offer me a role my agents phoned up and said okay David Cronenberg yeah. wants you in a movie and I was like I'm 95% yes before I even know what this yeah. is, before I just, you know, I really want to work with him. I got the script, heard it was by Christopher Hampton, whose work I love, and sort of mm -hmm. went, wow, this is amazing, and read it and thought, this is fascinating. Mm -hmm. 
but there are these two scenes. <laughs> and I don't know if I can do that mm-hmm. or if I want to do that. Right. And I really don't know if I'm comfortable. And I actually phoned him up and said, look, I love you. I mm-hmm. really want to work with you. I love this, but I actually really don't think that I can do this. Mm-hmm. And partly because I also thought that it was completely, it's completely necessary for the story that the scenes were in there. Mm-hmm. And he, the sweetheart that he is, just went, well, if you don't want to do them, then we just, we won't shoot them. And, but if you think that they're important, then we'll find a way to shoot them that makes you feel comfortable, which is exactly what happened. But right. I thought the idea that he actually just said, I'm not going to, I would never want you to do anything that you felt uncomfortable with, so we just won't shoot it, was completely extraordinary. So after that, you know, we discussed it and just came up with, I knew exactly how it was going to be shot, we knew exactly what we wanted to portray mm-hmm. and the reasons for them being there, and then it was sort of quite clear what needed to be done. Well, oh, sorry, last question. Okay. Um, I just want to ask you quickly, um, you have a lot of things coming up, can you tell me you know, what it's like working with Steve Carell and uh, seeking uh, a friend for the end of the world? Wonderful, Another, I'm, I've been very, very lucky. Um, he's one of the loveliest men ever, and you know, it's, it's a very dark comedy, um, which is a sort of bit of a departure for me, because I haven't yeah. done that before, um, and, and ju- it was just a complete joy working with him, so hopefully, fingers crossed, the film will work. Well, we can't <laughs> wait to see it, and congratulations on this Thank film. You. Thank you, good luck. Thank you very much. Thanks.